This is a very brief introduction to the Microsoft OneNote software that we advise our students to use to collect their notes across all years of their degree. In essence, it is an electronic translation of the way that we all store information in physical folders, sections and pages. The plus side is that you can easily carry all three to four years of a detailed degree notes on a single laptop or USB stick and they can be backed up. Therefore, they are much harder to lose than hard copies. On the left hand side are the notebooks, which you can label and organise however you want. They can show just the title or the sections as well. On the top are the tabs or sections within each active notebook and on the right are the pages within each section. Information can be added to each page either by typing or handwriting which I'll show you quickly now. This text can also be converted into electronic type by selecting it and choosing translate or convert. Obviously students will not always type things directly into OneNote. For example, if they write a presentation, they might use Word or PowerPoint. However, these documents can be directly linked into OneNote. I'll show you an example here. So for example, the presentation that I'm using, um, I've added a link to it, an icon and a screen printout. Let me quickly show you how I did that. So if I take the original file and drag it here, I get the option to insert as a link, a copy or a printout. I'll choose a copy. If I click on this now, it'll open up the presentation. Once information has been added to a page, it can easily be rearranged. As you can see on this page, um, if I just change that, each box um, is independent and you can actually move them around and I can also resize and redisplay where the text is there. If you find you want to add space into the middle of a page so that everything including text and images moves you can use the following option. One note also allows you to insert a variety of useful multimedia resources. The most useful of this is the screen clipping. So if you select, it will hide OneNote and allow you to clip anything that's on the screen below it. And it will tell you where and when you took that screen clipping. You can also insert audio or video recordings. Unfortunately, I can't do this while Jing's active. But you can see here, I recorded something earlier. If I were to double click on this now, it would play back to me. You can also add hyperlinks to external pages. So let's choose the BBC News page. So if I click on this now, it should open up the web page. You can also provide links to elsewhere within the document. So if I go back to the first page and right click on this top bar, I can copy the hyperlink. Going back to this area, if I paste it, clicking on that link will now take me back to the original page. You can also search within OneNote using the search function up here. So I've already uh, selected uh, the word interdisciplinary and I'll search for it. Now you can see that the only instance of this uh, interdisciplinary is in fact on this page. So the search function allows you to search within uh, text you have typed, images that you've copied and even within audio files as long as you speak clearly.